TNA on today's episode, watch us try and conquer yeah, Hoxie like you've never seen before. <laughs> so, good morning. Today we're starting a new journey. We got some fuck ton of epoxy, the Lantis Mobile. I'm going to Ozuni to search for a piece of wood to make a slot out of it. Set the mood, it's 8 in the morning. Huggy outside, fun fun. This is our Zunis. Welcome to our Zunis crib. Need a piece of wide of two centimeters. I think we're gonna use this one over here. We're still planning what we wanna do. Uh, this is the first time we're using epoxy. We're not exactly sure what we wanna do. I think what we're gonna do is split it in half with the river and then pour a fill of epoxy. First thing we need to deal with is these metal uh, pieces over here because we want to take it through the planer. Part of the TNA experience because we have two workshops. A lot of the times we need to go back and forth to get some stuff. So now I'm gonna get something. This is what we need. I think we'll take all of them, the bits to take out the metal piece. Hey, uh, sir, sir. Hello, good morning. Sir. Here you go. Thank you. <laughs> We're going on a trip. So, this is a place. Search for the melamine piece. The piece, it's over here. White oak is the chosen one. So now we're marking where the metal things that we need to take out. We're gonna make a hole over here, and so we wanna make it symmetrical, so we're making on the other side the same hole. We're pushing our Instagram page hard to reach more customers. I know it's in Hebrew, but there's Translate in app. Plus it's photo of stuff, so it doesn't really matter. It would be in the world to us if you could go and follow us over there. Link in the description. So you can get an idea. This is with the metal shard that was stuck in the wood. And it has no head, so we could have never taken it out. So oh, this is the plane. We're going to cross it around. Cross it across. I would say no. <laughs> we're going to cut across this line. Then we're left with two triangle pieces. Take them a bit apart. Epoxy is going to flow in between them. Azuni is going to make the casting from the melamine, so he's going to cut strips of 6 centimeters. This is how it's looking. The last cut we need to do is across because it's too long. Now that the template is done, we need to pre-drill and screw all the pieces to each other, caulk everything so the epoxy doesn't seep out, and we need to put a spray so the epoxy doesn't stick to the material itself. It's uh, breakfast time. Mrs. Anzoni has made, made us some sandwiches. Let's go. We decided to use a nail gun instead because it's way faster. You can see Arzuni mess around with it as if he knows what he's doing. We've been blessed with Arzuni's dad's tools because he's been working in construction for 30 years. The form is one of the most important things, so take your time when building it so it's really strong. This is the melamine box all done. Looks amazing. Next up, we need to add the silicone strip all across. And we had a couple of nails that popped out, so also we need to fill this in. Arzuni doesn't have silicone. So, my fourth time coming back to my shop. Sir, is your fucking silicone. We're building up our business, so stay tuned till the end to find out what we're planning. Hard to see, but all the edges are cocked. Really nice with clear silicone all the way through. And in the two corners where we had the mistakes with the nails, we're also cleaning them up, so they're all nice. To make the first batch of epoxy, you need to make a measurement one to two. Our Zuni's amazing invention to mix it up. We just took a rod and welded it together. Done in order to seal the edges from the epoxy. And let this sit and cure for a couple of hours. This thing we're gonna spray the mold with some uh, mold release so it doesn't stick. This is where we're gonna set the whole mold. First thing I'm checking that everything is level. I've shimmed up with this piece of wood over here, and we put down these. Uh, these towels, just, just in case if the whole everybody. mold starts to How leak. Putting system? wooden pieces and clamping them in place the w so the wood doesn't move or float. And also to get a good seam over here so the epoxy doesn't slip underneath, hopefully. Epoxy time! The pinch of black. Special spoon. <laughs> I bring it from uh, Dom uh, South Africa. <laughs> now Zuni thinks it's a good idea to add blue and black together. <laughs> It's gonna look like shit, yeah, but it'll be fine. Cam, this is for you. All these years watching the videos, finally we've mustered the courage and we're gonna do it. So I'm starting to twerk. And black walnut, and I'm allowed to make all the same thing over and over again. That said, already, whereas this is, I can actually get really, really creative and make something as wild. There's a lot of bubbles, so we take the blowtorch. And we pop all the bubbles. Starting the second pour, because we, we didn't make enough on purpose. Azuni's filling all the holes. 
from all sides. That's what she said. Oh, no, 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 not that. Just come on. Arzoni thinks he's in an art class. He's mixing up the black. Arzoni spurring, hopefully, last and final pour. Missing a really, really small over here bind, so it's all flush. Now, a cure. 3,000 years later. In a couple of days, the epoxy has, has hardened. The problem is the holes that we made in the corners, some of them have seeped down. So I've made another smaller batch and we're going to fill this up, all six holes. I'm going to let it cure for a couple more days and we'll be back to put it into the planer. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. It's time, we're taking out the form and we're going to take it out of the clamps. We want to know what you prefer, Tomer's voiceovers or just plain music? Let us know in the comments down below. No damn! Oh, Most of it came off pretty clean. Uh, we have a couple of uh, cleanups we need to do from this side, so that's what we're gonna do now. I, I can't see. I've cleaned up the piece as much as I can. Now it's going through the planer. I'm really satisfied on how it turned out. This is probably the messiest thing I've ever done. I think I just Fuck the hell of my planer. I need to trim the edges because they're ugly. Now we're cutting it into three. It's gonna be three serving boards. These are three pieces. They're all different sizes. I think they're looking amazing. Now I wanna add a chamfer with a router. Table saw slash router table. I put it in a 45 degree bit. And now we're gonna router all these out. result looking stellar the whole thing has 45 degrees on all sides second one is looking pretty cool the screen orbital sander pro max 10 gig terabytes of storage ask you a question and be honest do i make you randy yeah amazing hooked up to my shop back with some duct tape i use this 120 then 180 grit <laughs> It started fucking raining. Cut off everything. Say that you're we'll fine. Tomorrow. You're not really fine. You just can't get into it because they would never understand. So we're back. It's another day. Everything is all set up. The sky is looking uh, eh, but I think it will be good. So that's 120 uh, grit sandpaper. In between sanding, we need to raise the grain. So I take this cleaning thing, put some water in it, and we're going to raise the grain. Now that all the grain is raised, you can really feel it. We're gonna go to 180 grit sandpaper. Everything is silky smooth. Now we're gonna wipe everything down with mineral spirit. Now we're adding some finish. My girlfriend always says I love touching wood and it's true. I think they turned out amazing. This is freaking beautiful. This one is really cool because at the corner over here it's more transparent so there's like a couple of uh, hues through the epoxy everything is really nice we're gonna let all the, of these three dry tomorrow we're gonna add a second coat now we're gonna let these bad boys dry up the second coat is all dry we're gonna add these these feet it's just rubber feet with this uh spike in them and in the workshop we've been crafting finesse wood grain metal shine artistic address tna see in the build tools clutched in our hands Shaping dreams into reality, that's the plan. Saw the flies, the iron cuts, we stay true. Creating masterpieces, that's just what we do. Drilling through the doubt, sanding rough to smooth. Like sculptors of the hustle, we got nothing to prove. Hold up like the flame, let's get to the art. The melody of machines, man, that's just. If you're liking what we're doing here, we're really, really trying to level up. This is only the beginning. 
up ahead we're planning a move to a bigger shop some real good things so if you've enjoyed the video like and sub for more